So this question says, what is or what rational number is halfway between one fifth and one third? So um, this is definitely like a simplified question. And it's a weird simplified question because we have this one fifth, we have this one third, we know we're trying to find what the middle point is, right? Like what is the, the value right in the middle? And for some people, they'll think, oh, well, one fourth, right? Because four is right between three and five. Now, what I suggest you do here, because we don't really, our minds, for whatever reason, uh, don't deal with fractions very well when it comes to comparison. Um, typically, our minds will deal with decimals in a much better way. So what I suggest you do here, and in any case where you're comparing fractions, is to, con is to convert those fractions into decimals, right? So I'm going to go to my calculator, and I will see that one-fifth is the same as 0 0.2, and one-third is the same as 0 0.33 with a bar, so that keeps going. We can just look at it as 0 0.33. So then the value that I want so that's right in between, I can actually figure out, right? Because 0 point, or it should be halfway, well, let's just do the math. 0 0.33 minus 0 0.2, is equal to 0 0.13, half of that, so 0 0.13 divided by 2. Let me just go to my calculator. I'm pretty sure it's 0 0.065, but let's make sure, because that's the best thing to do on this test. So 0 0.13 divided by 2 is 0 0.065. So when I take that quantity and add it to the 0 0.2, or if I were to subtract it away from the 0 0.33, that should get me to my middle value. So I'm gonna just add that to 0.2. So what I get here as a middle value is 0 0.265. If you wanted to check, you could also say, well, what's 0.33 minus 0 0.065? And you should get the exact same value. So 0.265 is the middle value. So now I go up to my answer choices and I just see, well, which one of these answer choices is equivalent to 0 0.265 or, you know, very close to it. So one half is equal to 0 0.5, so that's not it. One fourth is equal to 0 0.25, so close, but that's not it. Two fifteenths, right? So here's an example of not really understanding fractions mentally, at least for me, maybe you do. But I don't really know what two fifteenths is as a decimal, so if I divide two, divided by 15, so that ends up being 0 0.13, so that's gone. Four fifteenths should be double that, which takes us really close to where we want to be. So that with that, I get 0 0.266. So I'm pretty sure that's the right answer. And then, yeah, we're looking at choice K, which would be double J, but we can do that in our calculator as well. 8 divided by 15 is actually equal to 0 0.533. So that's out. So choice J is the best answer here.